Members, we are going to be discussing the poison probability distribution. And uh, the poison distribution is a discrete probability distribution that expresses the probability of a given number of events occurring in a fixed interval of time or space. This should be underlined because it's a very important point uh, to define the probability uh, distribution uh, using poison distribution. So provided, this is another condition, provided that the events occur within a known constant mean rate and independently of the time since the last event. So if we are talking about determining, for example, the number of calls received at the call center within an hour, take an example, the number of calls received at MTN uh, call center, okay, within a given hour during the time of the day, we can tell that or predict that using the Poisson distribution. The mathematical formula for this probability mass function is going to be given by probability of x, okay, equal to k, which represents the probability of, of observing k events within the interval, okay? For example, the number of events uh, within one hour, okay? We can now consider one hour as our interval where we are making our reference. So probability of x equal to small k uh, is equal to exponential of negative lambda times lambda to power k divided by k factorial. So this is a, 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 a formula that we shall always use or apply for poison for poison distribution when we are talking about uh, defining or finding the probability. So therefore, uh, we shall see that lambda is the average number of occurrences in the given interval. That is always a called mean. So other, uh, in other areas, you'll find that instead of lambda, uh, they use mu. So they will still carry the same meaning because it means mean rate. Then k is the number of occurrences, and uh, it's always going to be an integer. Then e is the euro's number, obviously, that is equivalent to 2.718. Okay, so that means if I'm substituting in this formula, I'll have 2.718 to power negative uh, lambda, which is the average number of occurrences. Then the key, prob uh, key properties are uh, the expected value or mean uh, is actually lambda and uh, the variance is also lambda the standard deviation is obviously the square root is always the square root of variance so if variance is lambda then standard deviation becomes square root of lambda now the assumptions taken are that the events occur randomly and independently that is one then two, the probability of more than one event occurring in a very small interval is negligible. For example, if you take an interval of like, like two seconds or two minutes, that could be um, something very small and it can be negligible. Then the average rate or lambda, which is also mean rate, is a constant over time. So there is nothing like variation of this mean uh, over that uh, time period. Okay, let's see the cases where we use the poisons, a uh, poison uh, probability distribution, or what we can call application. So now, counting the number of calls received at a call center uh, within an hour interval of time, we can use uh, the poison probability distribution then uh, the other application is in estimating the number of accidents occurring at an intersection per week. Usually, you're talking about a time interval, so it has to be there. Predicting the number of customers arriving at a store in a given time period, that should also be uh, done using poison. Of course, there could be other models, but poison distribution our probability distribution function would actually make it faster 
and simpler. Then, obviously, even the algorithms that are designed, uh, usually the, algor the computer algorithms are designed using uh, mathematics. So usually, if this is um, an algorithm predicting that the number of customers, then it will be, uh, it will have been modeled using the Poisson probability distribution. Then determining the number of defects in the manufacturing processes, like those who are in the manufacturing uh, parts for any, any machines, be it vehicles, be it uh, other uh, machines that do other, other works, the defects in the parts. So determining the number of defects in those parts during the manufacturing process, we can use the Poisson distribution. So as an advanced student, you need a real to understand where this is applied so that in the future, when you are at the helm of planning for an organization, you know what to do. So let's look at Poisson versus other distributions and we shall talk about with a binomial and with a normal distribution. With a binomial distribution, Poisson, you can see that Poisson is useful when the number of trials is very large. You see, um, trials, when we talk about trials, we are meaning the binomial distribution. But when you see that the number of trials um, are very large, or if the number is very large, tending to infinity, when n is tending to infinity, and the probability of success is very small, with the probability of success tending to zero, or becoming so small in a way that it can be neglected, then you'll find that um, also uh, this mean is going to be is going to be uh, the number of um, trials times the probability of success. If this model is the probability of success, then the probability of failure is always uh, one minus p. So this should be at the back of our minds. And then to get mean you would get the number of trials times the probability of success. Then Poisson versus a normal distribution for large uh, mean, typically with mean greater than 30, the Poisson distribution can be approximated by a normal distribution with mean lambda and variance lambda. So this is uh, Poisson versus other distributions and we have compared it together with the binomial and the normal, because the, those distributions are the ones that are related with the poison. Now let's look at examples. Suppose a bank receives an average of uh, five customer complaints per day. That means your lambda is equal to five, the average number of complaints. Uh, so that means uh, five customers. What is the probability of receiving exactly three uh, complaints on a given day. Obviously, we said that probability of x uh, equivalent to k is going to be exponential of negative lambda times lambda to power k divided by k factorial. So we are saying receiving exactly 3, so we'll have probability of x equivalent to 3. So the value of k K here is equal to 3. So I'll just come here and substitute in my new. The mean is 5. So this is going to be exponential of negative 5. Uh, then times um, we have lambda, which is um, lambda is a 5. Obviously, to power k, k is a 3. Then divided by uh, k factorial, which is uh, 3 factorial. And that is 3 times 2 times 1. So with that, you are able to get that answer, 0 0.1404. So if we were multiply this probability by 100, we we'll would be able to get the percentage, okay, that um, the percentage chance that the company or the bank is, is uh, going to receive exactly three complaints in a day. The interval that is being taken here is a day and that is a condition that must be remembered so after that you can just multiply by a uh, hundred and you use uh, the, the juice 
that therefore the probability of receiving exactly uh, three components in a day is uh, 0.140 or 14.04 percent let's look at another example a call center receives an average of 10 calls per hour what is the probability that the center receives exactly seven calls in one hour again we are talking about a fixed time interval so you have to remember this x is in one hour and this mean is also in one hour same interval so there we apply the poison distribution so we shall again say that probability of x is equal to the small k is equal to exponential of negative lambda times lambda to power k divided by k factorial. So I already know that lambda is equal to 10, and then the small k is equal to 7. So meaning probability of x is equal to 7 will equal to exponential of negative 10, then times lambda, which is 10, to power k, and that is 7, divided by 7 factorial. So once you put this on your calculator, you should be able to get something like this, 0 0.0902. And that means uh, the deduction or the interpretation, we are saying that the probability that exactly three calls occur in an hour is 9.02% as uh, per this call center. Because the data is telling us the average is 10 calls per hour, and they want us to tell the chance that the center receives exactly seven calls in one hour. So that is it. We shall use uh, the poison um, mass function that is of this nature. Like I said, you can also have it as exponential of negative nu, uh, then nu power k divided by k factorial. Nu is mean, lambda is mean. So Whatever you meet, just know their meaning, that one. Next is that um, a factory produces 500 light bulbs per hour. And on an average, two bulbs are defective. So what is the probability that exactly four defective bulbs are found in one hour? Again, we have 500 light bulbs per hour. That is, uh, that is um, uh, we have... Okay, this is uh, what we have. Then on average, two bulbs are defective. Okay, and then the probability that exactly four are defective, meaning our lambda is equal to two, and then we shall still say that k is equal to four. And then we apply the PMF, or what we called the Poisson mass function, and... Um, say the probability of x is equal to small k is equal to exponential of negative lambda then lambda to power k divided by k factorial so we substitute in those values and then we'll be able to get this okay um then interpretation we shall say that the probability of exactly four defective bulbs in an hour is 9.02 percent don't you mind about this uh, 500 because this 500 is what the factory produces but um we are now looking at what is defective and what is not defective so they are telling us defective so if they are saying defective then we shall just take away the data okay the data of defective bulbs it's what we shall use calculate that probability now next question a certain lot a uh, road intersection experiences an average of three traffics uh, traffic accidents per week what is the probability that no accidents occur in a given week so uh, that means um, k is equal to zero and then at the average lambda is equal to three so probability of x is equal to k okay x is equal to three will equal to lambda i mean exponential negative three times lambda which is three to power k 
divided by 0 factorial. So we shall be looking for now exponential of negative 3 because any number to power 0 is, um, is 1 as long as that number is greater than 0. And 0 factorial is equal to 1. This is equal to 1. So we multiply by this. And finally, what we get is 0 0.0498. Therefore, the probability that you'll have no accidents on that particular road intersection, okay, is going to be 4.98%. Yes. So that means this probability is very low, meaning there is a high chance of accidents occurring on that particular what? On that particular road intersection. Next is a um, prediction on website visitors. So a website gets an average of 20 visitors per minute. What is the probability that exactly 25 visitors arrive in one minute? So that means uh, we are still talking about one minute. Per minute, one minute. So uh, lambda is equal to 20 and uh, k is equal to 25 visitors. So meaning we just apply in the equation uh, x is equal to 25 and this is going to be exponential of negative 20 times uh, 20 at power 25 divided by k factorial which is 25 factorial. So you press that on your calculator and then you will have 0 0.0517 and then the probability uh, of exactly 25 visitors in one minute on that particular website is going to be 5.17%. Uh, this probability is very low, meaning that there is a high chance uh, that um, you will not have exactly 25 or you will not have 25 uh, visitors in one minute. Okay? Uh, so... That is how we can apply the poison uh, distribution uh, when we are talking about probability distribution applications. So, in summary, you only need to understand the conditions that dictate uh, the occurrence or the existence of the poison distribution. And two, you need to master the poison mass function that we defined above here, uh, the probability mass function uh, of uh, the poison distribution is given by this. And uh, whereby k is the, the number of events uh, or the number of occurrences that are, uh, that are happening within a given time interval, we said lambda is the average, and then k, or I mean e, is the Euler's number, which is 2.718. Meaning, when you're placing these values on your calculator, uh, here you will be, like for example here, this is going to be 2.718 to power negative 5 times, times 5 to power 3, divided by 3 times 2 times 1. So... This should be really at the back of our minds, and we shall never forget. So such a number, when it comes, be ready to crush it in your exams.